welcome to the wedding house everyone come on in as you see we're open and I've got some exciting things to talk to you about today to help you with your wedding welcome to our studio here we are still setting up you can see all of our fun goodies um, and these are all for rent we've got a full design production studio to help you but let's get started today so I want to share with you um, some do-it-yourself tips that you can do and I can help you um, actually put these together and also rent some items if you don't have um, certain things and it'll save you a lot of money so I'm going to show you how to make your look professional I can't tell you how many times as a designer of 15 years I actually will look at something and say oh if they would have done this or that I really could have put a professional look on the overall wedding well right now you know rustic weddings are very very hot and I will tell you that there's lots of fun things that you can do besides using ball jars so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can put together a manzanita um, branch and also make it elegant so the first thing I want to tell you is you want to use real branches so like something like this you can tell it's like a Hobby Lobby plastic well guess what it even far away it still looks plastic these are actually and I rent these but these are actually manzanita branches um, real trees and real branches and they have been hand dipped so you're gonna get that authentic look the next thing you want to do is obviously have a vase we used a square vase here you can use a round vase but this would be for a taller centerpiece and then if you look closely, I just used some leaves. I would use real leaves right now if, I, um, if they were available. <laughs> but I just used leaves there that I got at the dollar store. And we have some cute little table numbers to rent as well. Um, and so here, I've created the branches. So I wanted to kind of give you a preview of what's going on. Um, here's a lower piece that, an awesome piece of glassware here that I'm gonna do a second center piece. And then I'm going to show you the next step is how to get rid of this ugliness here and really put some final touches, whether you want gold, you want to use those ball jars, pearls, and even crystals. And so just because you're having a barn wedding doesn't mean that you have to um, not bring in some of that elegance, like that beautiful tall candelabra right there, or lanterns. So I'm going to show you how to mix and match and really create a designer look. So be watching for our next video. Make sure you uh, reach out to us and like our fan page on um, Facebook, and that is The Wedding House. And I'm Tanya, and I would love to sit down with you and help you design, and most importantly, save some money. I'll see you tomorrow with more information about how to make this look fabulous. Have a great day.